Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have your spoilers for the upcoming week of December 18th, 2023. Almost to that 2024 and one week away from Christmas. And what, like two weeks away from midnight? It did get pushed back if you haven't heard yet. It is not coming out until 2024. So we do have something different next week. And I'll let you know what it is right now. PC, mobile, Xbox, and PlayStation, as long as well as <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Uh, we're going to do weekly event spoilers, troop spoilers, weapon spoilers, class spoilers, kingdom spoilers, pet spoilers, and uh, max kingdom power. So let's get started with PC, mobile, Xbox, and PlayStation. Weekly event spoilers. Nintendo Switch will be after this. Um, on the screen, you're just seeing me run some uh, Noma Paloozas. Um, I think I have some little tricks, some little uh, micro um, speed strats. Um, if you guys want to hear about them, let me know in the comments. If I see a lot of comments, a lot of likes and stuff like that, maybe I'll put out another video today. But uh, probably not because we're on the last day of the vault event. Maybe I'll wait till next vault to do that. It's even stuff I haven't told people on a uh, live stream too, like stuff I just figured out. So, yeah. Might help you get a couple more fights in. Might help you get a couple more vault keys. Especially if you're on console, but I think it could help everybody. Some of them are for everyone. Some of them are just console controller things. Anyway, let's go. Uh, next week, we have a Stormheim week starting tomorrow. Um, so a Stormheim under Spire. A Stormheim epic trial. We have a holiday event. So holiday event. Christmas... Get the doodad, get the... Is that what it is? Where you get the legendary, you get the pet, you get the mm, armor. Is it one of those? Probably. You fight the three battles. You know what I mean? I think it's one of those. Um, We have Invasion. Invasion. Uh, Stormheim, Elemental Giant, and Jordran is the new troop for that invasion. The new, you know, you have to use this troop to do the double damage to get the extra points. Jordran. We'll go over that troop in a moment when we do the new troops. Faction Assault Tuesday is uh, Frostfire Keep. Wednesday, Pet Rescue is Zephyros' Cloud. Stormheim. Thursday, Class Event is Titan Stormheim. So if you don't have a Titan on 100, you should probably get it there. It's one of the best classes in the game, especially early game. It's still good late game. It's kind of like Rowan. It's good early and late. Titan. And then on the weekend, we have a Faction Event for nothing. So there's nothing there for the weekend. It says Frostfire Goblin. So I'm going to guess we're having Frostfire Keep 2. We're having it on Tuesday and then on the weekend. I think that's only happened one other time ever. And it keeps happening now, so that's weird. And it doesn't have it. Uh, it says no troop type and it's blank. So I'm not 100% sure that that's what's going to happen on the weekend. But my best guess, Frostfire Keep. But I'm not sure. It's not totally filled out there. All right, a Stormheim week. What does that mean as far as event key drop table and weapons in the Soul Forge? Let's check it out. All right, as far as the troops go, we've just had like a Stormheim restriction in the PvP, so we can kind of remember what is there. Hendla Frost Crown is okay, but nothing you should throw event keys for. Um, Jotnar is not worth it. Mistralis though, Mistralis. Mistralis is pretty good. It's a borderline top 10. I say it's somewhere between like the 9 and 12, the 8 and 12 as far as, uh, you know, 1 to 10. Is it a top 10? Some people say yes. Some people say no. I think it's it, I think it's like 10. It's 10 or 9, something like that. It's really good. So if you've been waiting for a top 10 for, with your event keys, mm, you know, it's super um, – it's only one, one troop. So – you should probably save them for something else, like Adana or Zolkari or Zhejin. But uh, if you're looking for Mistralis, then you're the guy or the gal. Anything else? The Onyx Giant I don't like very much, but if you've been waiting for it, there it is. It's not terrible. It's like above average to maybe B minus, C plus, something like that, tier wise. While Mistralis is like an A, A plus, A, uh, yeah, somewhere around there. Not an S, but like an A plus. So, yeah, the Onyx Giant would not entice me to throw event keys unless I just didn't have it yet. But uh, Mistralis would, but then it's like everything else is not really worth it. So I would keep saving if I was most people. But if you've been waiting for Mistralis, then it's your time to throw event keys. All right, in the Soul Forge, we have weapons, and they are Axe of the Storm, Crown of Horns, Doomed Hammer, Doomed Wand, Frost Reaver, Frostfire Jewel, Ginormous Cleaver, 
Glaive of Storms, Halberd of Might, Ice A Aegis, uh, Kingslayer, Onyx Blade, the Enor Mace, um, Thoradin, Thunderbolt, and Zephyros' Bolt. I don't see anything there. Um, nothing, nothing good. So I've got a big pass, unless you're really specifically going for Mistralis or the Onyx Giant, I would say big pass on all of that. And let's check out the new troops. I do really like Mistralis, so I'm kind of holding back here. It's one of my favorites. The Psycho Mega Missy, all that stuff. But I gotta tell the truth, and it is a borderline top 10 that you should probably not waste all your event keys on. Alright, troop spoilers. Monday, December 18th, 2023, from Stormheim, we have Earth Giant. And Earth Giant, no fracking way. Arcane Forest, Space Rarity, Ultra Rare, Troop Type, Elemental Giant, Troop Roll Striker. So it's an elemental giant. It's kind of a weird looking giant. like Kind of like a skinny giant. A skinny bald giant. With a skinny club. That's what I would describe it. A skinny giant. Maybe it's supposed to be female. Not that that, you know, because I don't know. But a uh, hurl boulder. Stun an enemy and deal magic plus two heavy splash damage to them. Mana color green brown. Mana cost 12. Just calling all you ladies out there skinny. That's all. You're all... Looking good. <laughs> trait number one, Giant Bond. Trait number two, Big. Trait number three, Stone Skin. 50% Skull Reduction. Does not seem like anything special. Also on Monday from Stormheim, we have Jordran. Is his true counter the Paper Giant? So what is he supposed to be? Rock. Arcane Lava, Base Rarity Epic. Troop Type Elemental Giant. Troop Roll Striker. And... You know, same deal, except for this might be the, the male version. Skinny Giant is the best way I can describe it. Uh, I'll probably put one of them on the thumbnail. Tower Crusher is the spell. Deal magic plus two damage to an enemy if they are a tower. Deal three times to five times damage based on my ascensions. Destroy a column. Shiny spell. Deal magic plus two damage to an enemy if they are a tower. Deal three times to five times damage based on my ascensions. Destroy two columns. Never seen that before can destroy two columns mana color red brown mana cost 12 i mean i've never seen that ever said destroy two columns we have like an x shape we have like a cross shape um we have where you blow up like three different rows or columns but to destroy two columns that's 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 something new Trait number one, big. Trait number two, stone skin. 50% skull reduction. Trait number three is siege breaker. Deal three times to five times skull damage versus towers based on my ascension. So you know how towers go, but if I over explain it right now, you may not watch the video tomorrow, but you know how it goes, most of y'all. Just check out the video tomorrow. All right, so now we have some holiday stuff here on Monday, December 18th from Urskaya. We have Theodorovich. Is today the day he has his picnic? Was that a uh, Yoki? Yogi wants a pick a nick a basket. Arcane Forest, Base Rarity, Legendary, Troop Type, Urska Construct, Troop Roll Support. So an Urska Construct, it is a little teddy bear jumping out of a jack-in-the-box with a jester costume on. Looks cool, will most likely be on the thumbnail. Pleasant Surprise is the spell. Give 3 to 10 mana to all other allies. Then summon either Ragnagord, Nutcracker, Tannenbaum, or Chris Crinkle. They put Chris Kringle, but I think it's Chris Crinkle, right? They don't even know the name of their own troops. Unless they're putting in a new troop called Chris Kringle. I think it's, isn't it Chris Crinkle? Maybe I'm wrong, because I don't use him that much. I think he's Duke. Mana color, green, brown, mana cost 15. Just lost a couple people there, because they use Chris Crinkle every day. Wasting time. Trait number one, Urska Bond. Trait number two, Regeneration. Trait number three, Holiday Wish. Create a wish gem when my turn begins. So that's cool. It has a lot of good summons there. Ragnagord is good. Nutcracker isn't terrible. Tannenbaum is great, especially in first slot. And Chris Kringle is, uh, whatever. Not my favorite. Friday, December 22nd, 2023 from Frostfire Keep. I guess we are getting the faction on the weekend. We're getting Frostfire Goblin. Because you're hot, then you're cold. Arcane Swamp, base rarity, epic. No troop type. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see what it looks like. It is a little goblin that is blue that looks like Gollum. And it's wearing a, like, cape, um, a hat, and it has some fur around the hat. It's got some, like, 
ornaments. It's kind of like kind of like a Christmas, kind of like a Grinchy Christmas. No red and green, but uh, you know, still like kind of sort of Christmas. The spell is Frost and Fire, or Fire and Frost. Dyslexic. Explode two gems boosted by frozen and burning enemies. Gain an extra turn. Mana color blue green. Mana cost thirteen. Uh, no traits. It's not like fully fleshed out yet, y'all. But at least you know what you're getting. You're getting Frostfire Goblin. You're gonna see what it looks like because it looks like another good thumbnail. Um, explode two gems boosted by frozen and burning enemies. Gain an extra turn. It's like a goblin. Just like a goblin. You know, like I keep saying. It says it is. It's Frostfire Goblin. Extra turn. It's kind of like the Ice Goblin. And that is all. That one's from Frostfire Keep. So, did I see anything amazing? First one, no. Second one seems interesting for a, an invasion troop, but we probably won't use it outside the invasion. Third one has a bunch of cool summons, gives some mana, but are we ever going to use it? I don't know. And the Frostfire Goblin, is it going to change what we use for Frostfire Keep? Does not look like it, but maybe. So, I don't know. A little kind of interesting, but nothing super awesome. Alright, let's check out new weapons. Are there any? On Monday, December 18th from Stormheim, we have the Enorm Mace. Rarity Legendary Weapon Type Mace Weapon Roll Striker. Mana color green, yellow mana cost 14. The spell is Explode, Magic Plus One, Brown Gems. Grant a random satisfaction to all giant allies, then summon a giant troop. Does not have its perks or talents or whatever there, unfortunately. What's up, Terrans? What's up, uh, Gems of War? Somebody's screwing up here. Sorry. Probably not Terrans. I'm going to guess Gems of War. Um, so that is most likely you are going to get that from the invasion, buying up to the weapon. And you should definitely grab that if you can. Uh, and that's all. That is all. Um, I'll click on class spoilers. Night Weaver on January 5th, 2024. Kingdom Spoilers, Midnight on January 1st, 2024, and then Nightmare Circus on January 19th, 2024. Pet Spoilers. On Monday, December 18th, 2023, from Midnight, we're getting Bone Puppy. I totally doubt that. I totally doubt that. Um, But the thing we probably really are getting is on Monday, December 18th, 2023, from Urskaya, Theodorovich's Golden Teddy. Spirit of Giving Holiday Event. It's a golden teddy bear. Kind of like humping a sack or something. I don't know what it's doing there. It's like my dog when it gets excited. Uh, pet color green. Effect cosmetic. Um, also on Monday from Urskaya, we get Theodorovich's teddy. So this is the regular version. And once again, a teddy bear humping a bag. Um, yeah. Green, single troop bonus, Theodorovich. Um, on Wednesday, December 20th, 2023, it says from midnight. That's not true. All right, so we're getting the two holiday pets, Theodorovich's uh, Teddy and Theodorovich's Golden Teddy. Um, a, a teddy bear hump in a bag. Um, Max Kingdom Power. On December 18th, 2023, Urskaya Kingdom Power is going to 24, so that is not a soft cap. You should not worry about it unless you're super duper and not watching this anyway. Uh, not that you aren't super duper listening, but, you know, if you're chasing Kingdom Powers and that's your favorite thing to do and the only thing you got left to do, you probably don't, you're probably not watching this. Because you're a crazy lunatic that is crazy and awesome. I don't know. You're too good for me. All right, anyway, let's, uh, that's a PC Mobile, Xbox, and PlayStation. So we got a holiday event. So Midnight got pushed back two weeks, but we do have a holiday event. We have a Stormheim week. That means Mistralis. Um, you know, Invasion, which is the, one of the easiest events in the entire game. So that'll give you more time to play PvP or Underspire or Epic Trials because Invasion is going to be so easy. Then we got Frostfire Keep on the weekend and on Tuesday. So I can show you some teams on Tuesday, and you can just use them again on the weekend. Always crappy for me. But, hey, that gives me more time to make PvP team videos or something like that. Um, but, yeah, is there anything else? That's, that's about it. Holiday event. Invasion. You know, the little teddy bear hump in a bag. I think that's about it. 
So let's move on to Nintendo Switch. But remember to like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot to hear about the channel comment below. Go check out my PvP guide video with 10 teams on it. Um, go check out the live stream from yesterday. And if you're looking for stuff tomorrow, I'm going to have team video for Invasion at the butt crack of dawn. And then after that, I'll have the weekly preview with um, Epic Trials on it. And then on Tuesday, we got Underspire slash Faction. And somewhere in there, I'll have PvP teams for you because the restrictions are probably going to change on Monday. All right, Nintendo Switch, let's speed run this thing for a couple of y'all out there that still watch this. Um, weekly event spoilers, Nintendo Switch for the week of December 18th, 2023. Let's go. Y'all have a Sin of Mirage week next week. Sin of Mirage. Um, you have a world event, Let Mercy Be Done. 160% spell damage for all troops in the current event. So your Underspire will be Cinema Mirage Restriction. Your Epic Trials will be Cinema Mirage Restriction. You also have the Holiday Event. You're going to get the little teddy bear hump in a bag. Uh, Tuesday, Faction Event is Depths of Sin. Pet Rescue Wednesday is Gurky from Magrim Woods. Thursday, Class Event is Doomsayer. And Friday, y'all have the Vault Event. So you can watch the screen right here and watch me do the Vault Event. I'm getting around 350 Vault Keys so far. Um, right there it says 320, 330, but I get I do another one and I get to 350. I'm going for at least 400 this time. I might even try for 500. So, yeah, Vault Event is awesome. Run Iron Hawks or run Rowan. If you have Iron Hawks, run Iron Hawks. If you have only Rowan, run Rowan. Explore one, nothing else. Don't get distracted by anything else. All right, so let's check out Cinema Mirage and see what you guys have for uh, troops in um, the event key drop table and weapons in the Soul Forge. Uh, you know, Greed's there, but who cares? The Bane of Mercy is pretty good. If you don't have it yet, the Bane of Mercy. You know, you could throw a couple keys for it. Scourge of Honor is good. Wrath is good. So, uh, Cinema Raja, a little bit better than it used to be. Um, Scourge of Honor is the hardest-hitting AoE in the entire game, right? So it's up there. It's a top-20 mythic. Then you got Wrath, who's a top 5, top 10 legendary Skull Waterfall team. Then you got the Bane of Mercy, who curses Empowered Converting Cursor. So, pretty cool. It's getting up there as far as a good uh, kingdom. It's still not top 3. You want to wait for stuff like Adana, Zalkari, and Zhejin. But it could make, like, the top 10 as far as kingdoms go. So, if you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the Scourge of Honor, or the Bane of Mercy, or Wrath, you know couple hundred keys probably wouldn't hurt, but I wouldn't go all out. I would save for those other kingdoms I mentioned. All right, weapons. We got Bane of Gods, Blade of Guilt. Doomed Crossbow is good. It's the best red Doomed weapon in the game, so you should probably get it. Doomed Plunger, Jack-O-Lantern, Keystone, Scythe of Sin, Scythe of Scythe Face, Sickle of Sin, Sin's Harvest, the Eighth Sin, Toma Sin. Yeah, Doomed Crossbow is what you would go for. So Doomed Crossbow, Scourge of Honor. Uh, let's check out your new troops. Nintendo Switch. What are you guys getting? Do we use it here in the future? Yes, we do. The Bane of Mercy is one of the best troops of 2023. Just so you know. This one is good. Do we use it in the future? Yes. Is it good? Yes. You will use it. Definitely get it. Monday, December 18th, 2023, from Cinema Mirage, we have the Bane of Mercy. She'll make you beg for mercy. Shout out to Beg for Mercy. Arcane Blade, Base Rarity, Epic, Troop Type, Dame, and Troop Roll, Generator. Uh, cool troop. The spell is No Mercy. Give Magic Plus One Attack to the first ally and convert yellow gems to purple to boost the effect. Inflict Curse on all enemies. Mana Color Blue, Yellow, Mana Cost 13. So where, where I see it used mostly is like a Scorpius Urali, just to make it, you know, perfect. It gives an extra turn, which sets off the Urali, and it curses the entire enemy team, so they can't, they have, they'll be lethal, lethally killed. Like, they have to be poisoned and then killed because they're cursed. So, it really helps out that team a lot, and it's not the only team it's good for, either. Empowered Converter, that does yellow to purple, and then inflicts curse on all enemies, and gives attack to the first ally. It's great. Also on Monday, December 18th, from Glacial Peaks, you're getting the High Priestess, Intuition, Mystery, Spirituality, Arcane Summer, Base Rarity, Legendary, Troop Type Construct, Troop Roll, Generator. It's a tarot card. Uh, draw the High Priestess, create a Spirit Gem. There's a 7% chance to gain an extra turn for each yellow gem on the board. Mana Color Yellow, Mana Cost 6. Trainer 1, Inscribed. Trainer 2, and Revered. Trainer 3, Good Tarot. 
You know, it's a tarot card. You're not going to use it. The only tarot cards you should actually use are, like, Empress and, and Emperor. Mostly Empress. Man, you guys are getting another one on Monday from Urskaya. Theodorovich. Is today the day he has his picnic? Arcane Forest Space Rarity. Legendary. Troop type Urska Construct. Troop role support. Pleasant surprise is the spell. Give 3 to 10 mana to all other allies. Then summon either Ragnagord, Nutcracker, Tannenbaum, or Chris Kringle. It's supposed to be Kringle. Mana color green, brown. Mana cost 15. Trade number 1, Urska Bond. Trade number 2, Regeneration. Trade number 3, Holiday Wish. Create a wish gem when my turn begins. That one sounds pretty interesting, because all the summons are good. Like, imagine summoning Tannenbaum into first slot. That's great. Ragnagord is good. Nutcracker's okay. Chris Kringle is a dingleberry. Um, so that was your troops. Let's check out your weapons. Uh, nothing. Uh, classes. Mm. Getting Nightweaver, like, six months after us or something like that, I think. You still got other things that need to come in first, like Court of Foxes, I think, something. On Monday, December 18, 2023, from Earth Sky, you're getting Theodorovich's Golden Teddy, Spirit of Giving Holiday Event. And to try to get myself DM'd, demonetized, uh, little teddy bear hump in a bag. Uh, pet color green, effect cosmetic. Monday, December 18, 2023, from Guys, Theodorovich's Teddy. This is the other, it's the regular version, and then you have the golden version. You guys have a holiday event, you're gonna do three battles, you're gonna choose between three battles. You're gonna get a currency, you're gonna go to the shop, you're gonna buy an armor, you're gonna get a pet, you're gonna get a legendary. The Theodorovich's, uh, jumping out the box guy. Um, you know how it goes, we've had a lot of holiday events. Uh, Wednesday, December 20th, 2023, from Grim Woods, you're getting Gurky for Holidays 2022. That's the pickle with the Christmas hat on. Pet color blue, effect cosmetic. Uh, Max Kingdom Power, quit smacking your lips, you tater chip. On, um, what am I doing? What am I doing? You clicked on the wrong thing. You clicked on the wrong thing. Why'd you do that? It wasn't me, it was you, Rain Man. You did that. On the 18th, Urskaya Kingdom Power goes to 22. Glacial Peaks Kingdom Power goes to 23. Cinna Mirage Kingdom Power goes to 17. So you guys are getting three of them. That's not bad. But none of them are soft caps. I wouldn't really worry about it. Unless you're just done with the game and you have everything and you're about to quit. And all you care about is Kingdom Power. So, you know, 22, you don't get a stat. 23, you don't get a stat. And 17, you don't get a stat. So who cares? In my opinion. You do get closer to the next stat, though, I guess. But don't invest those resources that you can never get back. Because you can maybe get another kingdom to a stat quicker with those resources that you lost. But that is it. Um, Switch has Vault of it. Switch, you have a holiday. You got Cinema Mirage. Scourge of Honor. Wrath. Bane of Mercy's coming in for y'all. Bane of Mercy is good. You can get it in the glory shop. Make sure you grab it. It's pretty much almost free. Get as many as you can. Get it fully ascended. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it for y'all. Pretty cool, though. Vault event. Good troop coming in. Holiday event. Sounds good to me. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot to hear. Get about the channel. Comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.